Today we're going to do a stock Caesar with a slight tape up. So we're going to start with the one guard and we're going to take the hair down going with the grain. Now make note that this customer has a swirl in front of his head that if you go with the grain in the front of his head you're going to it's like going against the grain. So we're going to take it down all around evenly with the one guard. As you can see, I'm taking the hair down, avoiding the front of the hair because that's where the swirl is in front of his hair. So um, I'm just cutting around it pretty much. And I'm using my left, as you can see. Switching up, right hand. It's good to practice your other hand, the off hand. Makes life easy in the barber game. Now we're gonna take the one and a half and we're gonna go against that swirl in the front so in this way you don't have to be careful and you could pretty much see the patterns after you chop it down with the one and a half then we're going to take the clip of them we're going to draw a guide then we're going to take the one Gonna work the corners and take that line out out of your first guide. On the corners, you see me working the corner of the clipper. I'm not using the whole blade for nothing right there. Then we're gonna take the half guard and we're gonna do the same thing, working the corners. See, a lot of corner work, not the full blade. Cause once you use the full blade, you're gonna put another line in it that you gotta work to get out. Then we take the Cold clipper itself, no guard, and we're gonna do the same exact thing, pretty much cleaning up the tape up. Always use your comb to, you know, comb down the hair so we see what kind of blend we're getting. Then we're gonna draw the guard in the back of the customer's head. Then we're gonna take the one in it, the one guard, open it up. Okay. Then we're going to close it to try to get the line out as much as possible with this guard. Now we're going to put the hat, one and a half guard on it and then we're going to go up and take the bulk out of that. Then we're going to draw our guide again for the second side. And what I'm doing is lightening up the fade under the guide while I'm cutting it. So now we take the one and a half, the one guard I mean, and then we're gonna take that line out. So, a lot of corner work, you see that. Cause you wanna keep that fade on an angle like it's a tape up. Cause once you use the full guard, then you might have to turn it into a fade. Now we're gonna take the half guard. We're gonna take that line out, pretty much cleaning up the tape up. A lot of corner of the blade. Now we're gonna take our one guard and then we're gonna go with the grain, with the swirl. So pretty much we're going with the grain, whichever way the swirl is turning, we're cutting. Pretty much smoothing out the haircut. This is all part of fine tuning the haircut. Dust the client off because you got hair on them. Now we're applying a line. Whether you like the T-outline, the wall heroes, whichever 
spectrum of your choice. On this video, we're using a TL line. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Sneed underscore the barber, strictlyskills.com. Make sure you like, comment, and share all the videos that I post on here. See, when I post these videos up, I like to show you the uh, shortcut to these fades because a lot of these videos that they be showing, they be taking out like seven clips and you really don't need all of those clips. All you need is the, the half guard, the one guard, and the one and a half guard. So pretty much that's why you never see me use a bunch of guards and some sharp hair liners to complete the job. And it's always good to taper down the front of your hairline because the more you taper down the hairline, the crispier the line looks and you don't have to do too much work to get that effect. And somebody actually told me to ask me to do this video of a Dark Caesar tape up so your request is my command, and if anyone else have any request out there, just shoot it to me, and then, you know, I'll make it happen for you. Okay, so, but on this video, I actually included the beard because, you know, the haircut was pretty quick. So, we're going to go ahead and shape up the beard. Start shaping up the bottom. Then we do under the neck. Make sure you get that nice and even. Then we're going to do the mustache. And this guy actually got the type of um, hair that when you shape it up with the clipper, it does it no justice. So I'll just skip that step and go right to the razor. So a little bit of alcohol and um, the razor game. Sometimes I like to use alcohol because you know, some, you don't have, it don't, like once you razor it, you don't have to like razor it a bunch of times to get that chalk line effect. So the razor, pretty much the alcohol evaporates and then you can just get that that chalk line effect that these people be putting powder on their hairlines pretty much on Instagram to show. So stretch the skin when you're using the razor and you know, draw your razor. And then do the same thing to this side. A little alcohol, stretch the skin. Make sure both sides are even. Enjoy your razor. Make sure you use a nice sharp razor. I use Wilkinson's. Cause they're like one of the um, sharpest razors in the game. Always stretch the skin when you razor in the customer's face. Don't be in a rush. You don't want to cut the customer. Sometimes when you do the razor without the clipper, it's just like less irritation also. So now we're doing the back line. But you know, <clears throat> this custom actually gets like, you know, razor bumps and stuff like that. So pretty much that's as far as we're gonna razor the customer. And then we're just gonna continue with the clipper. And continue to shape it up underneath the neck. So 
tighten up the mustache a little bit. Nice and sharp. Thank y'all for tuning in. Another good video. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you learned something from it. Sam Sneed the Barber, signing out.